Good morning, boys and girls. And today for writing, we are looking at an explanation text. And we're going to be looking at the key features of the explanation text. This is an explanation text called The Life Cycle of a Monarch Butterfly. Now, remember, an explanation text is about how something works or why it happens. Okay, so this one's about a bit of both, really. It's about how the life cycle of the monarch butterfly works and why it happens. So it covers both. Not all will, and that's okay. So I'm going to read it for you first, and then we're going to have a discussion about the features and their purpose. The life cycle of a monarch butterfly. Did you know that a butterfly begins life as a caterpillar? Butterflies are insects which go through a complete life cycle made up of four stages. This includes egg, larvae, pupae, and the adult stage. Egg stage. First, a female monarch butterfly lays a small round egg on a suitable leaf. This is important because once the egg hatches, the leaf will provide all the food. Then, after around four days, the egg hatches and a larvae, also known as a caterpillar, emerges. The larvae stage. Then, in the larvae stage, the small caterpillar gets straight to work and begins eating the leaf around it. For around two weeks, the caterpillar eats and eats and sheds its skin four times in this stage as a result of it becoming larger. Pupae stage. After that, when the caterpillar is two weeks old, it will find a place to create its chrysalis and shed its skin one last time. This is usually on the underside of a leaf. This is known as the pupae stage and lasts for eight to ten days. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar is developing wings to transform into a beautiful butterfly. Adult stage. Finally, once the ten days have been completed, the butterfly slowly emerges from the chrysalis and it begins to create a straw out of its proboscis. It then sucks the nectar through the straw. The blood pumps through the body of the butterfly and into the developing wings, therefore causing them to fully expand in a few minutes. The transformation of the butterfly is then complete. The monarch butterfly has a very interesting life cycle. Lots of different species of animals have their own unique life cycle. Now that you know about the monarch, now you know how the monarch butterfly lives its life. I wonder what creature you could find that has a similar or different life cycle. We also have a visual feature down here. We have the egg stage at the top here on the leaf. Then we move into the larvae stage, the pupae stage, and the chrysalis into the adult stage of the monarch butterfly, removing, removing itself from the chrysalis. So, we're going to have a look at some features that are important parts of an explanation text. So, the first thing I'm going to point out is this first little paragraph up here. This is our introduction. Now, the writer of this explanation text has started with a question. Did you know that a butterfly begins life as a caterpillar? Now, that is straight away making the reader think about what the topic is and what's going to happen in the topic. So the purpose of the introduction is to introduce, but not overwhelm the reader with heaps of information. It's going to tell the reader about what's going to happen. Okay? So that is an important part of an explanation text. Because if we're not telling the reader what's going to happen, they might lose interest. Okay? So it, gives it, it asks the reader a question, or it might give a definition. So for example, we've got a question to start with, and then we have a sort of a definition. Butterflies are insects which go through a complete life cycle made up of four stages. And then it tells us what those four stages are, but it doesn't tell me about the four stages because that's part of the explanation phase down here, okay? So, as I keep, just move down here, we have the explanation stage. All these stages are listed in what we call chronological order from the beginning to the end. It wouldn't make much sense if we started our explanation with the adult stage, because that's the final stage of the butterfly's life cycle. So, the purpose of the explanation is to tell us all the information in chronological order, so the reader is able to understand what is happening. So, 
we have our first stage, which is the egg stage, then the larvae stage, the pupae stage, and the adult stage. And this is where you can really give the information, give all the important facts. All right, the next section of our explanation text is the last final stage down here called the conclusion. Now, a conclusion is really important because if you don't include it, the reader might get lost or confused about what's happening at the end. They don't know if it's finished or not. So a conclusion is usually gives a summary or a general comment about, about the topic. Now, the writer of this one has asked its reader a question as well. It tells us how the monarch butterfly has a very interesting life cycle. It tells us that other animals have life cycles too. So it's asking you almost like a wonderment. It's asking you to think about other animals that might have an interesting life cycle. And then it's also asking you a provocation. I wonder what creature you could find that has a similar or different life cycle. So when you are writing explanations, texts, it's really important that you think about these three key areas. They all have a purpose. Okay, the introduction's purpose is to introduce the topic and engage the reader. The explanation section of our explanation text in the middle section needs to be in order and explain all the important parts of the topic. And if it's in order, it means the reader understands how it happens. And the conclusion is to summarise it, summarise the important parts that have been shared not add any new information, and maybe ask the reader a question 